Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you my journey to United States of America. As you can see, I'm going to Mumbai in train and you can also see my bags here. So I reached to the airport after five hour journey from Surat and you also can see the lightings of Mumbai airport and the feeling was really really unrealistic that I'm going to United States of America. So as you can see I said bye to my mom and dad and I'm starting my journey to US and I waited in line to get the boarding pass and everything has done now. So I'm going towards my gate and wandering in the duty free shops. I was not gonna buy anything but it's really nice to see duty free shops. You get tempted. Hi everyone. I'm at the Mumbai International Airport uh, to go to Chicago for my clinical rotations and I don't know how to feel it's really excited and at the same time it's really scary for me because first time I'm traveling to US alone nobody is with me when I went for my medicine to Belize, there were so many people and at this time there is nobody with me. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I hope it will be okay. Let's see how it goes. I have to go to gate number 76 and this is the way for it. I'll talk to you guys about my step to USMLA marks and all when I will reach to the gate and I will finally announce my score it's not that great but I'm hoping the best let's see what happens I don't know how far is my gate I'm just keep on walking and it's still not coming I think I have almost walked two kilometers One good thing is that there is uh, drinking water at regular spaces, at regular distances, so people can drink water if they don't bring water bottle. So here it's a little bit dark, so I don't know if you guys can see me properly, but let me reveal you that my step to score is 227. It's not that great, I know, but uh, I have decided to extend my one year and do these clinical rotations and take my step three and then I will apply for uh, matching. So it will be 2026 match for me. I'm not applying this year, surprisingly. I didn't expect that, but this is life. So. I will be applying to match in 2026 so that's the update and the bigger update is that I'm going to US and I don't know what experience I will get and my first rotation is in Chicago that will be under a cardiologist uh, so I will be rotating under cardiologist for one month then I'll have rotation in New York and then in Detroit so I'll be spending next five or six months too in US and I'll take you guys with me in this journey I know I haven't posted videos from last five to six months I've been really busy I've been doing jobs I've been doing internships I've been doing exam preparation I've been doing exam preparation of OET lots of other things so I didn't get time to make any videos so I'll keep you guys updated from now on so that was it and uh, let's take you to my journey so as the boarding announces I get into the line and I started going into the aircraft
finally going into the aircraft. It's feeling different. So I have reached to Istanbul and I'm right now going towards my gate. I guess it's really late for me to reach the gate and boarding has just started and I have to go now because plane landed late at Istanbul so I got delayed I have to say that these escalators are really fast I have to go towards B gate my gate number is B5 and I really have to say that Istanbul airport is really beautiful it's really big it looks like a mall to be honest Okay, then I'm heading towards my gate. So I arrived to my gate. I have to wait in the queue, I guess. Okay. Let's see. For United States passenger, there was one extra security layer at the gate. I was surprised. They took the sample from my laptop and went through my bag so here it's showing how my plane is gonna fly for next 11 hours i guess yeah it was 11 hours Finally arrived in Chicago, but there is a twist. Hi everyone, this is next day. Yesterday I couldn't make any video after I landed in Chicago because there were so many confusions uh, regarding immigrations and my stay. So I was it was really hectic and I was really worried about my stay and immigrations. That's why I couldn't make the video so i'm updating you guys about this uh, that why i didn't make video yesterday in immigration they ask me a lot of questions regarding my rotations and uh, how i'm gonna spend my money how i'm gonna uh, sponsor this or uh, who will gonna sponsor me and how and will i able to afford this or not they had so many confusions so they asked me so many questions and uh, Overall immigration was nice. Uh, they were really supporting, and uh, uh, everything wo everything went very smoothly. Then I got out of the airport. Then I called my owner that uh, where I supposed to live, but he said that there is no space for me. So <clears throat> I had to call another person. They he only gave me the number. Then I called him. Then he gave me this space that I'm living in right now it's a kind of a reasonable price but I have to make my own food in the previous one that I have already uh, decided where I had to live in that one the food was included but in this I have to make my own food this is really changed for me because I didn't bring any utensils or any kind of Indian masalas or everything so that I have to do so for that i'm going today for shopping a little bit uh, i'm gonna buy sim card i'm gonna buy bus passes i have to go to hospitals every day that is around two or three miles away where i live right now so that's it if you guys like this video then please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and uh, i will update you guys in the next video until then stay safe Bye bye